Yeah, I mean, I'm bugged by Toronto fashion generally. I mean, I, I, it's currently summer and I've never seen a worse dress collection of people anywhere. Everybody's walking around in shorts, but it's okay to wear shorts if you're on the beach or if you're playing soccer or something like that. People who wear shorts in, with the greatest respect, uh, who wear shorts in town, particularly fashion shorts. I mean, that isn't a fashion short, that's a, I think we, that's an ugly short, isn't it? I mean, yeah. that's a comeback short, exactly. convenient short. You can keep some stuff in there, but it, the, the wind blows up and vaguely cools your knackers a little bit if you're lucky. Uh, and but you've, you presume you've got those little pop socks for girls on under the trainers, because you don't want to show a long sock because you think it's going to look a little bit uncool, shorten the leg. Look, there you go, there are things invented by girls for girls to be worn with fashion shoes, but you've got them with a big, ugly, smelly pair of trainers. It, it's, it's fascinating. I mean, it's, 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 it's pure Toronto. But last night I was out in a sort of quite sort of fashionable place and all these guys are in their sort of leather shorts, people wearing what looks like a suit but cut off at the knee. And, they, and I said, they, these people look, I've never, worse than anyone on earth. And, and the guy was with said, listen, they get six weeks when it's not snowing. You know, let them wear whatever they want. And sure enough, you've got to get value for your clothes. So the fashion is, you know, the summer fashion in Toronto, because, you know, the, the summer's so short compared to the rest of the world, I guess you've got to wear last year's clothes and the year before and the year before that. Mm -hmm.